I have with me Mr. George Weinman. He's a former aerospace engineer from Boeing and also worked with Blue Origin recently. Both companies are working on human space flight. Uh, George, is Sunita Williams stranded? Will NASA and Boeing abandon her in space? No, Sunita Williams is not stranded in space. Um, I, just to be clear, I'm not part of the Starliner program and I don't have any role in human spaceflight currently. But from my understanding, uh, the vehicle is in pretty good shape. Uh, they have some tests that they would like to run that they can only run while the vehicle remains in space. Uh, the particular valves and systems that they, they need to better understand what's happening uh, when a vehicle comes back to Earth are going to be left in space and then burn up in the atmosphere as a separate module. But the crew module itself, has, uh, as far as I understand it, is, is operating just as expected. So I think they just want to take advantage of where they are uh, to understand what's going on and, uh, and do the tests that they can do there while they have the, with the option to do so. Do you think Sunita Williams is comfortable at the International Space Station? It is large football field size. There are nine crew there. Would she be comfortable there? I think she's probably exactly where she wants to be. Um, my understanding, I don't know Sunita personally, but I understand from her career that uh, she's a consummate uh, test flight pilot uh, for the space program. Uh, she's probably doing exactly what she wants. I think even if the engineers on the ground are busy running through their cycles, uh, the good news is they're not in a rush. They can take their time. This isn't a crisis that has to be solved or the crew doesn't come home like Apollo 13 was yes. a true urgent crisis. Uh, this, is, this is more like uh, we have the time and the flexibility, let's, let's do some more work. It's telling us very clearly that the Boeing Starliner is not lost and that astronaut Sunita Williams will be back with a happy landing on Earth. In New Delhi, Pala Bagla for NDTV.